All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and taste my food. Mm -hmm. Lentil rice, guys. Can definitely taste the coconut milk. Mm. And I can tell you guys, it is delicious. Mm. guys welcome back to another video if you're new welcome to the family so it is another blessed sunday morning and i'm gonna go ahead to prepare my sunday dinner by cooking some long green white rice which is grease and some lentils so instead of the regular rice and peas i'm gonna be doing lentils rice right so some fun facts about lentils so we're using the brown lentils to cook the rice today and if you definitely want to see what the end result you can definitely stay tuned guys remember to like up the video share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to run over journey with proud mommy and support us because we definitely want your support and guys before you go let me just go ahead to update you guys as it regards to the use and benefits of lentils. So, lentils, of course, it is rich in vitamin C, minerals, and fibers. Lentils has been around for ages, but it is taken a while for us to actually realize how powerful it is to our body. Lentils are edible seeds of the legume family, like beans and peas, they grow in pods and there are about like four types of lentils. So we have the brown lentils, which is this one. It is European lentils. Then we have the green lentils, which is French lentils. And we have the red lentils and also the black ones. Lentils is high in protein, which help us to build and maintain our muscles, bone and skin. Protein can also help you to manage your appetite and support weight loss because it makes you feel fuller than other nutrients. Also, there are four benefits that I can call on right now, or let me see, I can recall that lentils does to our body. It definitely protects us against diseases. It lowers our blood pressure. It improves our art health it it boosts our energy and of course it supports our digestive system so you know proud mommy not just want to cook but proud mommy want getting you know, all educated and getting you know, all in the groove of knowing and feeling more comfortable as it regards to why and how we go ahead to take care of our body because you know longer life longer health longer life on earth right so just stay tuned guys while proud mommy chef up or sunday dinner stay tuned guys so guys we're gonna get down to the meat of the matter so the star of the show for will sunday dinner is lentil right so it's done the same way or you that do your regular peas the only difference is that you don't really have to soak it because it's not that solid right so me go ahead and get my lentil wash. And of course, I did went ahead to give you guys what's the benefits and all of that of using lentil. So, I hope you all got some informative, informative, sorry, details from all that. So, I'm going ahead to wash my lentils off. before I go ahead to add it to the fire, right? And if you look close, guys, it looks similar to gungu. If you don't know it's a lentil, you don't think a gungu may be with, right? So I go ahead to add some water to my pot. And of course, I go ahead to add my garlic also. And then when the pot start bubble, 
I'm going to go ahead and add up my rest of stuff. So just stay tuned, guys. So, guys, I'm excited. Because I can't wait for my rice and peas done. So, normally, I would use a pack coconut milk. But from the other day, I start to blend up my coconut. Okay, you know, my native coconut. You know, my rice. All sweet. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my lentil on the fire to boil. Regular, the like regular way with my garlic in the pot. My meat, I already seasoned up my meat from last night, so it's in the fridge marinating. So I'm gonna go down in it now and I'm gonna blend up my coconut in the meanwhile. Alright? So you guys can comment in the comment section and let me know how you go ahead to prepare your Sunday dinner. You use pack coconut milk, you use the regular coconut, or you do it. What are you having for dinner today? Are you having rice and peas and chicken? What are you guys having? Because my family, we're having some brown stew chicken and lentil rice. So it's not rice and peas, it's lentil rice today. And I'm not sure of the juice that we're going to be having today. Because I'm not blending any natural juice. Maybe we're just going to drink some cranberry juice on the side. So just stay tuned guys and watch Proud Mommy Chef Up our dinner. So as you can see guys, I put all of the coconut in the blender. So what I'm going to do after blending and straining off, I'm going to blend it again. You know, take out all the juice. Because you know, one more rice and peas is sweet down to the bone. So here go guys. This is the first blend guys look at it nice so i'm going ahead to pour it to my strainer to strain it off and of course i promised you guys that i'm going to give it a second blend because i'm going to make sure so i milk it milk it get out all of the juice some lentil rice can be nice So you all are welcome to my home for dinner today. Yes, you're welcome. So the whole concept of this video is just to show you guys that we can do more than one things with different things. So lentils, basically persons normally put it in soup. And so this is the reason why I got the idea of doing it in rice. To show you guys that we can do something else so we can i'm gonna go ahead now to get the second blend from the coconut milk coconut milk nice and rich so i'm gonna go ahead to get give it a second blend and then strain it out completely before we move over to the other step so guys i am finished blending the coconut milk the coconut so i got my juicy milk for my rice my rice is on there boiling on the fire so now i'm gonna move over to my chicken right so i'm gonna use the pepper put it in the frying pot and my garlic to spice up my pot before i start frying so you know you know so the, the um, brown stew chicken you can go ahead for just throw everything in the pot and then keep on stirring Add water and all until it's finished cooked. But I'm gonna do it proud mommy's way. So I'm gonna go ahead to fry my chicken. And after frying the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead to, you know, cook it all or put my ketchup and all of that. So I did went ahead to season my chicken from last night, put it in the fridge to marinate. So now it's ready to fry. Alright? So I'm gonna move over now to my pot. So I did add some vegetable oil to my pot. So now I'm adding my garlic 
and my pepper for spice. Right, I'm going to put all of the pepper there, you know, I'm going to have to eat some. So I'm going to want it too hot. So now, guys, give it a little more time before I add my chicken. Look at that, guys. So I did went ahead to put some Maggi seasoning and some all-purpose. The all-purpose that I use is one that has everything in there, pimento seed, everything is inside of it. And so that's the one that I use on my chicken, right? And you know, it, it's a marinade from last night, so you know, say I don't to the bone tonight, today for my Sunday dinner. So, I add at an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken in my pot. My favorite part of the chicken is chicken breast. Mm -hmm. I just need more on the neck. That's right, so I'm going to make it one here, here, and try. Yes, guys. So just stay tuned, guys, and what for mommy? Step up for dinner. All right, guys. So the lentil is finished boiling now. So I'm gonna go ahead to spice up my pot. So first, I'm gonna add my coconut milk to my pot. Right. nice so next i'm gonna go ahead to add different spices to my pot ensure my rice spicy when it finish cooking of course you know you have to always go ahead to add your salt to your pot ensure your taste as you go along because you know you don't want your rice to be the two salt and i'm telling you guys you can taste you can taste the natural coconut in this mm -hmm. all right that's okay now so i'm gonna go ahead to add some of my my all-purpose seasoning to my pot. May I make sure so I get some pimento seed to it. So I'm gonna add some to my pot also. Right? So I add the coconut milk, the salt, and the all-purpose seasoning to my pot. So I'm gonna go ahead for add me scallion and thyme and my pepper to my pot. So I'm gonna ensure that I'm gonna monitor my pot as close as possible. So guys, remember, I told you guys that the lentil it looks similar to gungo. So if you know that lentil are going here, so you think a gungo are going, right? Mm -hmm. a guan. So some persons may add sugar to their rice and peas, but it is optional, guys. And I choose to add some little sugar in my pot to bring it up a bit. So just stay tuned, guys, while I show you the progress when my pot starts with bubble and all. Yes, guys, you want to see we are going. Stay tuned, guys. So, guys, I did went ahead to throw some of the oil out of the pot. So, now I'm going ahead to add my chicken back to my pot. And I'm also going to go ahead 
to add some water to the seasoning in the container and then I'm going to pour it on to my chicken. All right, guys, so my meat a bubble and I'm going with the cell. So now I'm going to go ahead to add my seasoning to my pot. I'm here telling you guys, let say, the pot smells awesome. Can't wait for the game. Yeah, man, I'm not put on, I'm not add on, I'm not subtract. Just as it is. I tell you, the pot is everything. The chicken smells like jerk chicken. Right. So I'm add up my seasoning here now. I'm going to make my meat stay there. And simmer down. Check the progress of my rice pot. Look at that, guys. So I'm going to go ahead to wash my rice now and get it all ready for my pot. Yes, guys. So I'm going ahead now to add up my rice to my pot. So it's not jasmine rice today. It's some grace, a long grain rice. Yes, guys. So... Add in my rice, we're gonna get my butter, you know. Put my butter in my pot. Of course, guys, and you can also put a little cooking oil in there. Forget the rice, I'll shell it. And if you don't look good on the real rice, I'm gonna make the coconut boil properly in my pot. Okay, no, no wanna run in belly or nothing, go on. So I'm gonna make sure it's set. I make it boil as perfectly as possible. Can't wait, guys. Can't wait. So some shots smelling good, guys. Me not tell no lie. My pot are going with itself this eve this morning. And of course, guys, I'm going to church. So I make sure I'm awake very early and get the thing going. So just stay tuned guys and watch the progress of Proud Mommy Sunday dinner. So I'm going to go ahead guys to prep some cabbage. So I'm going to do some cabbage and carrot as a vegetable on the side. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to it also. I'm going to add some sugar to it and vinegar right so just stay tuned guys so may i get in my carrot okay no you have to complement the rice and peas with some vegetables on the side. All right, guys, so I'm going ahead to put some cold ketchup, tomato ketchup, to my pot. Me I tell us my chicken, guys. Give me chicken. Smell like a jerk chicken. Me I go on with. Yes, guys. So, you know, it I go down to the simmering, simmering. So, I'm going ahead to add my ketchup for the final touch. And, of course, I'm doing some ripe planting over there. So, you know, we're having a feast. So, just stay tuned, guys, for the final of my Sunday dinner cooking. Yes. Who, by your hand and by your mercy, have kept us. Yes. You preserved us from destruction and devastation. Yes. Father, in the midst of calamity, yes. in the midst of war, bloodshed, strife, yes. in the midst of struggle, we can lift our voices and boldly declare yes. that the Lord is good yes. and his mercies endure forever. Yes. Father, we lift our voices 
above calamity, above criticism, above, co uh, above conflicts. Father, we lift our voice above clamor and we say, Blessed be the Lord for his mercy and glory forever. Father, we thank you. Jamaica thanks you. MCMI gives you gratitude and honor and praise. Lord, you have not dealt with us according to our sins. Lentil rice, guys, can definitely taste the coconut milk. Mm. And I can tell you guys, it is delicious. Mm. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and taste my food. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, just the right amount of everything in there. The meat. It have been just the right amount of spice. And the rice, you can definitely taste the maggi seasoning when I put in there. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry that Shane Adventure is so far away from me. Because I will definitely bring some on my Sunday dinner I will give him. Make him taste it so he can give me the review. But I'll try next time, guys, to get that sorted out. If you have reached this far of my video, thank you all for tuning in to Journey with Proud Mommy. And no worry, guys. Proud Mommy have a lot of ideas coming, a lot of cooking, a lot of everything. Mm -hmm. So just stay tuned, guys. So you see me I'm a champion right here, sir. But there's a weight pound of 1K. The boss me champion. So just stay tuned, guys. Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed rest of your Sunday evening. Bye. Thank you.